Hey everybody, DM Jim here, and welcome to a new series that I'm starting. Uh, it, it, for those of you who are familiar with me, you know that I am a big fan of this game right here, Frostgrave. This game came out in 2015. This is the core rulebook. The basic idea of the game is you create what's called a warband. A warband consists of a wizard, the wizard's apprentice, and then eight soldier types, like thieves and rangers and knights. You take them into combat against another player, and you collect treasure, and your wizard can level up, and you learn new spells. The game is very wizard-centric. The soldier types are fun to play, and there are expansions to the game that allow you to level up uh, a special warband member called a captain and things like that. But ultimately, the game really revolves around your wizard and apprentice taking treasure, uh, exploring ruins, and things like that. The game is really designed for a one versus one, although I've played many games where we were doing three versus three or two versus two. It's an incredible game, and if you have never played it, I, I just can't recommend it enough. Just recently, this expansion came out called Perilous Dark. This adds some new rules and 10 scenarios for playing Frostgrave solo. Now, there are some solo campaigns out there that have come before this, uh, and, and, and I think there were some homebrew rules that you can go and find, but author Joe McCullough really... This book is his uh, offering to Frostgrave players who want to play a cooperative game where you play with a friend or you play a solo game. And depending on whether you play solo or cooperative, the rules are a little different. Now, if you play solo, the game is very similar to the core rulebook. You're going to have a wizard, an apprentice, and up to eight warband members. But if you play co-op, each one of you only gets one wizard and then four soldier types for a total of 10 members, just like a solo player would have. So what I am going to be doing in this new series is I am going to play through all 10 of the scenarios in Perilous Dark. I've been prepping the game table, I've been building uh, miniatures for certain scenarios, and I'm, and I'm now ready to go. So in this video, I'm just going to share with you some details about my warband. I'm going to give you some photos, uh, close-ups of, of my new uh, warband miniatures. I'm also going to show you how I made some of the creatures that uh, I'm going to play against in the very first scenario. So this, this episode is really sort of a episode zero. I'm not going to be playing in this one. I'm just going to show you how I've prepped for it. And then in the next episode, I'll be playing scenario one, which is called Writhing Fumes. Let's get to the tabletop and I'll show you what I'm doing. For my warband, I chose for my wizard and apprentice the elementalist class. And um, it's going to give me some spells that I've, I, I think I'll enjoy. I've never played the elementalist, to be honest. And for my warband, I chose four thugs, which are the most basic fighter type, a thief, a ranger, and two archers for uh, range uh, weaponry. The thief and the ranger have pretty good movement speeds. There are two items I haven't painted yet. These are called the Ballista 2 Constructs. I've got to paint them up. They figure into the first scenario as well. Uh, they're metal. I ordered them special uh, for Frostgrave and uh, looking forward to getting them on the tabletop. Now as you can see here, uh, one of the other creatures that I'll be making, they're called uh, Vapor Snakes. And uh, <laughs> it's a weird one, Vapor Snakes. And so what I did was I basically just took a piece of really high gauged or thick gauged wire, wrapped it around a pen. I made two different lengths. I made a long one and a short one. And there, it's the large snake versus the small snake. I just wrapped the, pin, uh, wrapped the wire around a pin and then I glued the wire to a small one inch base. And then after that cooled really well, uh, I went and I covered the entire uh, bit of wire with more hot glue. Um, the, the hot glue, you have to really let the, uh, the glue cool well, especially when you're, you're gluing the, the wire to the base. You want it to be strong and sturdy so that it doesn't separate. Uh, in some cases, I had to apply a little extra hot glue on top of the wire after it had solidified just to make it a little, little bit stronger. 
and then once that glue dries again you just cover as much of the the surface of the exposed wire with more hot glue and it'll give it a very smooth you know look and the idea is the vapor snakes you know they're made of air in the book they're sort of a bluish white and uh, I debated going back and forth on how to make these but ultimately I just decided on the wire because I wanted them to you know be three-dimensional and match the image that is in the book which sort of looks like a curled wind based snake Here you can see the final uh, vapor snakes in various sizes and if you look carefully you can see the coverage of the hot glue. It's sort of clear over the red wire. I went out, hit them with some white primer and then uh, once that dried I brought them back in and painted the bases black. I may sponge paint these with gray later, I haven't decided yet. And then once the bases were, were dry I just hit the, the white exposed part of the uh, vapor snakes with a baby blue. Uh, it, it, some people may argue that it looks like water, but I'm fine with it. It's, uh, it's only for one scenario, and I didn't want to spend a lot of money or a lot of time. So here's the final looking uh, product, the Vapor Snakes. Here's the basic layout I'll be playing with. Now this may change, but I've got four pieces that you can watch how I made that back in episode 121 over at the Tabletop Engineer YouTube page. So those four pieces separate. The rest of this stuff is mostly 3D printed uh, ruins right here and then just painted. But this is just sort of an idea of what the first scenario uh, will, will look like. My war band will start in this corner and there will be an objective over in that corner over there. So there you go. I am really excited to play this Perilous Dark uh, solo campaign. I've got my new warband. I've got the uh, some of the, the minis made here. I've got a few more that need to be painted up uh, before I start. The tabletop is ready to go. The ruins are ready to go. Uh, you can check the link below and download a scan of my warband, uh, tr the tracking sheets that I'll be using. I've chosen an enchanter for my wizard. And uh, no, I'm sorry, I chose an Elementalist. Always get those two confused. Elementalist, and you can see the spells I've selected and the various warband members I've selected. Uh, as the game progresses and I find treasure and I buy new warband members and magic items and things like that, I will update each of the uh, tracking sheets and make them available for viewing so that you can follow along. Now, one final thing. In the first uh, episode or the first scenario that I played, it might go a little long because I will be explaining some of the basic rules of Frostgrave for those who've never played it before. And the idea is, is that after that, uh, scenario 2 through 10, I'll be a lot less likely to cover some of the basic rules. Every now and then I may remind you of something, but in the first video I do intend where I feel it's appropriate that I'll, I'll take a little longer and explain, you know, maybe a combat rule or, or some sort of measurement rule or whatever. Um, but that hopefully will go away after the first episode and the games will be a little faster to run and a little faster to watch. Obviously, if you have any questions about Frostgrave or this video or any of the scenarios, just post comments and I will do my best to address them. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and got a little idea of, of, of what's involved in getting it going. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and hopefully in the next day or so, I will start playing and film the first episode, and I'll get it out to you for your enjoyment. This is DM Jim. Uh, thanks for joining me, and take care.